So we've seen how the trends indicator works in an uptrend. I thought I'd record this just for a balance to show you how the trends indicator works in a downtrend. And the principles are exactly the same. This is on a stock. And on the left here, we have the one minute for it. We've got the three minute, the five minute, and the 10 minute here. So exactly the same time frames as in the earlier video with the uptrend on the NQ. The principles are exactly the same. And once again, what I've done here is to change the sensitivity on the two lower charts. So on this chart and on this chart, I've uh, tuned it down a little bit so that what we see in this uptrend here into the congestion and a minor uptrend, what you would see if the sensitivity was, was set to the default is you would start to possibly see one or two little blue dots appearing here. In other words, a, a change in potential trend. And what I've done in changing the sensitivity, those have been removed. All we see is now congestion back into the body of the candle uh, up near the top. And then we come out the other side down into the bear, continuation of the bearish trend. So it's a key aspect of the trends indicator. And indeed, it also applies to many of our other indicators in that you can adjust the sensitivity to suit your own trading style and approach. And the same is true on the trend monitor, which I'm going to record shortly. And then we'll look at both of them together, the trends indicator and the trend monitor indicator. But as I said in the previous video, these indicators, the two trend indicators have been designed with a single purpose in mind to try to help to keep you in a trade once you're in to maximize any profit potential from staying in that trend because that's the biggest problem we all have as traders is taking as much as we can out of the trend because as soon as we get a congestion phase or as soon as we get a minor pullback against us, we panic, we close out and then you know, generally speaking, we find the trend continues in, in our original direction and we're left regretting that decision that, let's face it, was triggered on emotion. So this is what these indicators are designed for. They're designed to, to help to give you that little bit of confidence to try and overcome that emotional response that we all feel when we have some profit in a trend and then it starts to dwindle away as we move into a congestion or a minor pullback. So we close out, we, we make that emotional a response, the trigger, which is natural. It's in our DNA. We can't help it. You know, that's how we're built. That's how we've evolved. We have that automatic response to take our profit off the table to, to protect what we have. It's a natural instinct. You know, we just have to manage it when we're trading. And this is why we've developed these, these, these indicators. The trends work very close to the price action. As you can see here, we get, uh, as I say, this is the the default version, so we get a congestion phase and we're back in again. Trend dots move above, moving above, pressing down, then we're back into the body of the candle. We get some congestion building here. As we move into that phase, then it moves back above, pressing down, pressing down, pressing down. Then we move into congestion. Now we've gone underneath. And now we're starting to see potential, a reversal with a change to blue. Similar picture here. We've seen the uptrend into congestion. Then we get a, a reversal into up. Blue down down to the underside of the candle, pushing up, pushing up. Then we're back into the body. Then we move above into the body, and then we're we're well up into the body here. And then we come out above into a congestion phase. Color just one on this occasion, and then the red dots start to kick in, and then we're off down the the slide down to the end of the trend at the bottom. As I say, what I've done here is is uh, to to just a adjust that sensitivity so we don't get any blue here we go into congestion phase and we come out the other side so a continuation of the trend lower the bearish trend and exactly the same here we come down we've got a congestion we're coming out this side we come down into the congestion changing trend dots into gray not into blue back into red down we go into some more congestion here no change in blue here we've desensitized it and now we're back into red again so there we are. That's uh, that's the trends indicator in the bearish phase of price action. So it works in exactly the same way, obviously, to the upside, to the downside. Used in multiple time frames in this way. But please bear in mind, it works very close to the price action. You can adjust the sensitivity. It's just a terrific indicator to give you that uh, intraday heads up on what is going on uh, in terms of pauses, congestion phases, reversals in trend. But please use it in combination with the trend monitor 
which I'm going to show you next in a separate uh, set of videos. And then we'll put them both together and you can see the two working in tandem, how they, they complement one another in terms of helping you to, to stay in that all important trend. Hope you've enjoyed this particular video. Lots more to come on the TradeStation indicators. So thanks for watching. See you soon and bye for now.